yet another edition of the dialogue today and we have here a very strong member of the NPP ready to fire but yeah you can watch the show live on Facebook at next to TVGH next to TVGH also you can send your messages probably ahead of time or when it's about time to read some messages to 0243 sorry
Zara New Maxiblend Compact Powder. Foundation and powder formula with SPF 30. Full coverage, natural flawless finish, all day wear. Zara, redefining the essence of beauty. At an uncontrolled interception, give way to any vehicle that is already in the interception that arrives before you. At T interceptions, through traffic has the right of way. Always give way to pedestrians in the zebra crossing. At the stop sign interception, again, give way to cars that are already in the interception that arrives before you. If two cars arrive at the same time, the car on the right has the right of way. Be sure to check if cross traffic also stops. If it's your turn to go, take it. Being overly cautious slows traffic down. On the other hand, don't get upset if someone goes ahead of you when it's your turn, just let it go. When entering a roundabout, give the right to any vehicle that is already in the circle. Also give way to any bicycle or sort of pedestrians in the circle. mentioned this earlier. Okay, shall we pray now? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Why, why? No, no, why? I go south, yes! If they can't ride for it, no, if they can't ride for it, they can't ride So this one, they can't find top. No, he, this one, he, I don't go, or I don't come. You can't see him. African Spice. Showing this and every Monday to Friday at 10.30 a.m. only on Netu TV. For lack of knowledge, my people perish. We need some moringa. It needs a yard here. Ma ko ma ko ahasa. Kasi omu so omu se bua ma do mpe insu ya sumo me bua. And so ko US ya. Uh, US, we need the other product chain to be And so, pet osteoporosis. I try to do the way you are US now. Come on. I teach you the tactics. Only 150 years. Only now. We depend on plant. Intelligent children are more likely to become vegetarians later in life. And now we are here. Dandelion is a friend to the kidney and the liver. As I say, we go blend it. No one should glass with the swamp mixer. No one no. We better try to salad. We don't need to go to Mudi. Dandelion, it promotes healthy circulation. Just we be here, and now we be there. And many more just to be there for some calm our system. Heart attack, cardiovascular diseases, gastrointestinal disorders. If you deprive, let's say, your brain of oxygen, you get stroke. If you deprive your heart of oxygen, you get heart attack.
for lack of knowledge, my people perish. Winning some moringa, it miss I dear. Marco Marco Ahasa. Castle is almost a warm, I don't think so. Yes, no, my work. And so called US. US or Mudi, they are put the chain in Fabia. And so pet osteoporosis. I try to don't pay with the US. They are common. At a chilly tortoise, only 150 years. On your name, we depend on plant. Intelligent children are more likely to become vegetarians later in life. And now we are in Dandelion is a friend to the kidney and the liver. As a yabaya, no blend here. No wash your glass with your swam mix and one. Who bet you can as a salad? Who do you say good? Dandelion, it promotes healthy circulation. Jesse will be rare. And I will be dear. And money more dead to me dear for Sunday. Come on, the system. Heart attack, cardiovascular diseases, gastrointestinal disorders. If you deprive, let's say, your brain of oxygen, you get stroke. If you deprive your heart of oxygen, you get heart attack. Stolen moment. Netu TV brings to you a sizzling, intriguing TV drama series. What are you so mad about? <laughs> Don't you run away from me! Hey! <sighs> this is a story about three inseparable friends, Diana, Beatrice, and Sophia, who would do anything at all for each other, but find themselves fighting for the love of one man, Edward. Who will Edward choose? Will this delicate situation destroy their unshakable friendship? Will this affect the beautiful future the three ladies have planned? Watch Net 2 TV at 8 p.m. Monday to Friday and find out what happens in this love triangle. Stolen moment. Welcome to the dialogue. It's so fun behind the cameras. I have here with me Chairman Mafu. He's the former chairman of the NPP. Um, which constituency was that? From? I can't say sorry. And he's a bit forward, but he speaks his mind. He just gave me a piece of that. And I was just, I couldn't just hold it. But yeah, he's very laid back but strong. He's also a member of the communication, uh, NPP communication. So, come on. Good morning. Welcome to the dialogue. <laughs> I like the way I like your modesty and the way you're just simple with things. How are you doing this morning? I'm fine. I'm just fine. Just fine. Yeah, just fine. Well, I hope everything is going well. People, you you also deal with the port every now and then. How is how is the situation at the port right now? Port situation. I would say it's good and bad, depending on where you are looking at it from. If uh, you are looking at it from the angle that you work at the port and things are going on well, you know, people are importing and for that matter as a free that you're yeah. also getting jobs, then it means it's good. Then looking at policies, implementations of policies, then you also have uh, some issues mm -hmm. because, you know, uh, the system is such that sometimes things doesn't work out the way you want it to be because uh, you also need to meet timelines. True. So these are you know, Challenge. uh, challenges. Uh, it, 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 it's multi and it, it's uh, left and right. Yeah. Yeah. So you are also a member of the ruling NPP and also a fridge forwarder. Yeah. Um, I also discovered that some of the policies you just inherited from the actual administration and so trying to steal them and work on them has become a bit rough. But um, let's go to our topic. That was just to throw you off. I know we talked about something. We are going to touch on a few issues happening around Ghana and as a matter of fact NPP we've had a lot of callers and people actually visiting our offices with complaints that the, the people, the authorities or the leaders are losing touch with the grassroots. The complaints come back to back every morning. And we are going to ask every one of NPP leadership, including yourself, each time we meet them, what is happening? The people are kind of losing touch or is it that the workload is too much that the concentration has shifted to Ghana 
instead of the graph. Okay, Abedi, let me take this opportunity to say hi to my people, my chance of constituency, and MPP as a party. Uh, I'm in red, uh, yeah. red and black. Uh, it's not for fun. Uh, we've lost one of our big guys, and uh, we are doing the one week celebration in Nigeria, the Eastern region. And he happens to be the father of our deputy minister of finance in terms of budget. I'm going to say I'm sorry. So uh, from here, I'm going to a new name. That's why I'm in red and black. So family. Uh, lost touch. I don't think the party or the government has lost touch with the grassroots. That is not the issue. The issue is that, you know, we've been in opposition for eight years. Most of the young people who are in the party now, mm. you know, most of them couldn't have the opportunity to witness, or even if they did, it was for a short period. Uh, they didn't witness exactly what was going on when we were in power. Mm. Most of them, they, you know, they were at the backstage. Some of them were relatively young, yeah. for that matter. They didn't enjoy what, you know, the, the governance had for us as a party and, you know, as members of the party. That yeah. was in the NPP world. Yes, I'm talking about in the NPP era. Yeah. And then we moved to opposition straight away. And so, uh, look at the, the number of years that we've spent in opposition. So for eight years, or eight years, yes. We've spent eight years yeah. in opposition. And for that matter, you know, the, uh, the expectations are very high. Because people need to change their, their, their lifestyle from opposition to government. And so, if they have that mentality, psychologically, if they have that mentality, and it is not giving them the benefit, what do you expect? The expectation will be that look, we are we are not getting anything, and for that matter, we need to start talking. So yes, we agree that it's most of the people are not enjoying the benefit of government or governance. But it doesn't mean that the government is not doing anything. It doesn't mean that the party has abandoned them. That is not the case. We have just a year and a little, mm -hmm. you know, from uh, opposition. Yeah. So we need to put things in order. And we shouldn't forget that, you know, MPP didn't inherit any, mm. you know, successful governance. You understand? And for that matter, it, it, it will not be prudent for us to continue the same way, mm. you know, giving everything to our people without recourse to uh, the governance mm. or without recourse to... So you believe it's a bit too early for people to start calling for, I mean, attention and trying to change over issues without looking critically yeah. into what was left over from the ex administration. Yeah, if I say it's too early, people might misconstrue and in misinterpret yeah. my, you know, assertion. So I wouldn't want to say that. But what I would say is that, you know, we should take it easy. You know, it's not everybody who has got uh, something from the government. I can use myself as an example. I don't have anything. No, no board, you know, no government appointment, you know, nothing. But I am still working for the party. You're still strong. Yes, I don't really mind. Because yeah, the president said it in uh, Cape Coast, that if we manage ourselves well as a party, we can have everything to ourselves. If we manage the, ourselves very well, if we manage the party well, because at the end of the day, if we stay in government for a very long time, it is most likely that most of the people, if not everybody, most of the people will enjoy the fruit of our labor. Mm. You know, even generations will come and still continue to enjoy. If we put ourselves together and if we have, you know, if, if, if we position ourselves very well and not thinking about what we should get at this, Today. you know, uh, uh, present moment, then it means that we will have a long way to go. But if you start, you know, complaining, talking, I am not saying you don't have to complain when you have a legitimate uh, concern. Reason, yeah. You do, you, you have every reason to complain. But let's, you know, limit our complaints. Let's put our complaints, you know, in a very minimal, uh, you know, form so that we can still continue to put our acts together. We shouldn't forget that we didn't come only for the, for, for, for the party. We came, you know, 
to work for Ghana. And every citizen in this country, you know, has a stake in this, you know, government. And for that matter, all of us have to, you know, uh, be inclusive, bring everybody on board. We shouldn't be thinking about only ourselves as politicians or as party people. We should consider the whole essence of being in government and propagating the good deeds of this government. That is what is important. Because if you don't do it that way and we become selfish, we are only self-centered, we want to get things for ourselves alone. What happens to those who, you know, were not part of us but decided to vote for us? Even those who didn't vote for us, they are also Ghanaians. Whatever taxes that we are paying or, you know, we are using, whatever grant, loans or whatever that comes into the kitty belongs to all of us. True. Because we are all Ghanaians. So for me, I would say that let's you know help this government you know the president has indicated several times and i know him i've been with him for a very long time very close with him so i know when he talks what he means and i know that the president has a lot of good you know ties for this country and he thinks very well for this country and for that matter let's all you know put our hands together help him if you're a minister if you're an advisor if you are you know see you you know whatever position you find yourself you know you have to think about ghana first and then think about the leader who has sacrificed all you know his life trying to get things done in a proper and better way for uh, for, for us so if we put all this together and we think positively i am telling you we can do more and if you are a party person whether you are grassroots whether you're an executive, whether, you know, you're an advisor, you know, founding member, your, you know, issue, what you should be concentrating now is how can we give Ghanaians a better governance. Great, good. But looking at it from this point also, that I, John, I read on the, in the papers that John Boydou and then uh, Sami Uku are trying to call the people who are invoking cases and taking the party for the elections to court and having injunctions here and there they, they, to come to the table and also go through some disciplinary committee proceedings. Is it becoming part of NPP that at least seeing people try to invoke cases and take issues to court? These, these stories are becoming quite good. Yeah, I bet the, let, me, let, me, let, let me start with this case in focus. You know, if you are not careful, we are going to turn this country into something else, a spiritual kind of, you know, you know, life. Yeah. And it, it doesn't occur well for this country. Oh, look at, look at the level that we've come, you know, so far. You know, 21st century. A developing country that we want to move into a developed, you know, country. We are talking about cases. We are talking about spiritualities. I am not saying it is wrong to, to believe in spiritualities. But I'm telling you that when we concentrate our energies, you know, we want to, you know, uh, uh, you know, weave around our life such, you know, things, then it means we are not ready to move on as, as, as a country. But how, you know, what, what are we talking about? Why do we even want to, you know, go into spiritual realm when we are talking about elections? Yes, people who want to dwell on that, that is their fate. I don't have any problem. But is it the normal practice? Is it the standard practice of doing things? That, oh, oh okay, so if you not allow me to contest, then I'll curse you. Why do we want to dwell on that? Are we, are we serious as a people? And some and of I'm these cases have replica effects. Well, whatever. If me, I don't know. You, I don't know. I don't know. I am not into it. And I am not ready do you think it's, it's to put fear in people well whatever reason that they want to do it that is their business i don't want to get into it because spiritual issues i don't even have any knowledge in spirituality so i would not want to get into it but what i would say is that it doesn't augur well for us and for our young demo democracy yeah. you know the moment we start going and you know it started way back yeah. and nobody is talking about it people are not interested people are not checking them and so they are doing it and now it has gone into this our part, yeah. yes look i i i i actually
actually saw a video of ex President Rollins. Yeah. Uh, I think he was giving a lecture I think yeah. somewhere and he yeah. said he gave a story of uh, someone having a Bible and a Quran and living in one room and he said one person died the following day yeah. he took them to court and yeah. they were like, um, who killed this guy? Yeah. I've been prayer submissions yeah. and stuff yeah. ended up one person yeah. was going to be jailed, jailed. for killing yes. or for yeah. responsible for whoever yes. died. And he didn't and he do said, it. So he I said do it. they should go to, to his hometown. hometown. And, and he knows that, that by funny. telling uh, uh, the court that they should go back to, to the hometown, hometown the person who the did it will, will, will eventually will own up. Own up. Yeah. You understand? Well, but is that the solution? Do you think that that is what we should do? Yeah, coming from coming from uh, a former president, it's an unfortunate statement for me. That's what I would say. It's an unfortunate statement. That doesn't mean that I don't believe in you know uh, religion and spirituality. I am I am I am I'm, I'm, I'm a good Christian. You know, good Christian, very good Christian. But I don't think that that is the way we should go. Going forward, going to court with issues, yeah, that is a democratic right. Nobody yeah. can stop anybody. But we should also be considering the effect, the ripple effect of doing that. At the end of the day, you know, if you are not careful and we encourage people going to court, it will, it, 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 it will come back to us and it can even derail all our programs and our structure. Yes, you understand. And so me, I believe that the party should get involved in a serious, you know, conflict resolution management. It's very, very important. You know, as a party, we need that very strong body that you have impartial people, people with, you know, clear minds, you know, people who are respected and people who can be, you know, impartial in their delivery. When we get people like that in our party and we are very convinced that they will do a good job, you know, with knowledge in conflict management and resolution, we will end up getting the best but at the end of the day, if you know that if you come and see Chema Maf, things can be resolved. Maybe you might not get what you want at the end but of you the day. Be Good. Because you can get a better ground. Yeah. So, why would that person spend money to, to, to go to court? The person doesn't have to go to court because it is unnecessary. But if you don't have that kind of facility, for the person to enjoy. That, you think that's why they go to court? Yeah, yeah, a lot of them, yes. You but see, others want I am, to test I, the democratic no, right no, no, it is, no, the, 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 of democracy. No, the fact that the fact that you are going to, you know, the the conflict process. management doesn't mean that you are not getting your democratic right, you know, being protected. I am an ADR expert. I wow. am, yes, I am an ADR practitioner, except that I don't do it as I do free forward. Mm. Yes. But because I know that when we, 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 we decide that we are going to manage our uh, conflict, when we decide that our dispute, we are going to manage them properly, I am telling you that there wouldn't be much of this problem. Look, I mean, that doesn't mean that, you know, we don't have litigants, yeah, you know, among, among you. us. Yeah. Yes, we do have a lot of litigants among us. And for that matter, you still have people who will not even want to go you through know, the no, they will not. No, regardless. they will not. They will not. <laughs> and you see, when we make it a policy, yeah. when you make it a law, then they are forced yes, to abide that, by it. That you have to, you know, you know, it is even in our constitution that you have to exhaust all. all yes, but it, the fact that that is what we have. So, do we, okay. do we even do we even chastise, you know, offenders? That's those what I was going to ask. Yes, so those who don't, you know, go, go through the through process the to process, the latter. Yes. Do we, do we chastise them? Do so that doesn't mean in the, the first place, if you jump the gun and take it to court, or probably go into a shrine to curse, mm -hmm. without exhausting all avenues in yeah. the party. I remember John Boydou was in this seat, and he said that. Yeah. So if you jump the gun, or jump the process, go to the court, or go and curse at the shrine, now you are already found foul of the law, or you know, the the, the party constitution, party constitution, constitution yes. right. Yes. But let me read a few messages from WhatsApp, and you can follow us live on Net2 TV GH at Net2 TV GH on on Facebook, and you can also send your messages on WhatsApp through zero two four zero five five zero eight nine nine zero two four zero five five zero eight nine nine. Let me read a few of the messages. This is Papa Kwesi Aqua. This is Perez from Achiansi. In fact, Chairman Mafu is really on point. In respect to the youth 
exercising patience. He is just the man, the man of the moment. Look at how confident he is. Thumbs up, Chamama. Chamama, <laughs> Tanko Abu Bakar. Good morning, host. Why is it? Why is it that when MPP is in power, mm, mm, are always having confusion? Okay, I will not say that because I won't be the, the, the avenue for that. This means MPP is not good. Okay, okay you have the right to say that. Um, in 2001, there was chaos that led to. I will not also say that. I will not also say that. I will edit your text for you. And it says Aji Isa Moro, then chairman. Okay, this and aware of President T. Patrick's Ben. Okay, I can take the last part for you. We say we change. We change to NDC. Nothing of that sort happened. In recent days, and uh, I'm not uh, I'm not aware. President Tipper Trucks, oh, I'm not aware. President Tipper Trucks go got bent, and regional is not aware, and we are going. The government under Nana is too chaotic. He must resign for incompetence. <coughs> From Tanko Abubakar, Shukura. Okay, Tanko, that is a piece of your mind, but you can tell I edited it very heavily from some of the words you use and I won't actually be the person to carry those words out and because you don't have any basics for them but yeah thanks for sending your messages and keep sending your messages to us I'm reading a few from the whatsapp line and this is from Diamond Ashoma in Teshi he said if Seidu Agongo and Dr. Steven Opuni alone can call alone can cause Cocoa Board to lose 217 million Ghana cities, then you can imagine the kit, the kind of damage John Mahama and his team did to the country. Never again should we allow the NDC to rule this country. Regards to Chairman Freddie Blay, Moses Abo, Abo and the incoming Greater Accra Regional Youth Organizer of MPP. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much for some of the messages. You, you, you can call us or we open the lines for you to join with your submission on 0240550899 and also on WhatsApp you can send your messages alongside Facebook. Jamal I think say oh oh what's that say difference then? See what points in there. They are right on, on point on the spot. It's a, a bit away from the MPP case is the I I read this that I we, we were discussing it before we started. Giving kids this condom thing. I don't know what the MP was trying to, to explain but maybe the use of the word kids Kind of got me lighted up. Do you think you should have come up with a more defined age break, age bracket? Probably youth instead of kids. Yeah, I agree with you when you say youth because the youth cut across. But kids, you know, who are kids? You know, kids are not supposed to indulge in sexual activities. So if you say kids, then it means you know you are bringing it down, and you yeah. know people might not like that uh, idea. But uh, I believe what he is trying to say is that instead of us shining away from, shining away from the fact that people are, or, uh, young people or youths are indulging in sexual activity, you know, will not help us. Because we know, we, we are just being hypocritical about it. We know that, you know, young people are enjoying or are getting themselves into sexual activities. And, you know, some of them, they don't understand what it is. Some of them are for experimental yeah. purposes. Peer pressure. Yes, peer pressure, you know, and all that. And, you know, when it gets to this stage, I, I for one, I am, you know, a father of two girls. You understand? My only kids are girls. And I get a bit worried because, you know, it's an issue. Because, you know, when you get into this situation, it's most likely if you are not careful, you know, leave them. You know what you have, you know, ahead of you might not be able. You cannot even achieve them, or you might not be able to achieve them when you indulge in early sex and all yeah. that. Uh, but he he feels that well, in as much as we want to protect our kids, we want them to stay away from sex. We also need to educate them and let them understand that well, even yeah, even if you have yes, to, that is where it education should be goes down. exactly. It should be with a condom because you are not ready yet. Maybe you don't even have a full complement of, you know, readiness for pregnancy. That one is also an, an yeah. issue. 
because there might be a lot of complications because of your age yeah uh, putting that one aside you might also you know get into you know diseases you know STIs. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, no, people cannot yeah, limit no. STIs to HIV and no, media, no, they are a lot. Like media, they are a lot. They are a lot. You know, a lot. Yeah, they are a lot. You know, and 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 to avoid that, you need to 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 to, to get this. I believe it was uh, it was not a wrong move, but then the way it was captioned. Yeah. And it's you know yes, and the I way it yeah recaptured. yeah and the way it is. But you see, Abedi, we don't have to. Like I said, we cannot continue to be hypocritical about the issues. Because for me, like I told you, I have two girls. You know, anything that they need to know about sex, have myself and my, my, my wife, their mother, has also been able to try as much as we can to. You know, because look, the younger one will be 13, me, the oh. other one is 15. Oh. And you know, they are fully grown. Yeah. And so you cannot continue to deny, you know, uh, yeah, psychologically deny that these are grown, you know, grown-ups. And for that matter, you know, it's you, you, you need to... Yeah. Yeah, let me tell you a story. I went with them for a funeral, you know, at Bunso. And then I was talking to somebody, and the two of them were standing. And then one guy came approaching them. And he said they should give uh, yeah. their number to him. But I was listening to their conversation, even though I was, you know, talking to somebody. But these are my girls. So I was listening to their conversation. I said, what do you need their number for? Oh, I, I want them to be, you know, my friends. And I say, look, do you know their ages? This one is 40. This one is 12. Oh, sir. I say, but do you have to look at them? Just look at them and do that. You see, even in the presence of their father, you see, in the presence of their father, they are, uh, somebody is asking for their telephone number. So you can when you, yes, it's not there. When they are in school, when they are meeting friends. Mm -hmm. So I bet I can tell you, this is an issue. It's a serious issue. If we don't treat it properly, we will end up, you know, getting our kids mm -hmm. into a serious difficulties. And they will blame us as parents mm -hmm. for not you telling them the, the, the education. proper education. Do you think that, you know, our kids should get that kind of education elsewhere? Mm -hmm. No. It no, should. Be should. Some yeah, so, 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 you know, those period those ages where you know it is difficult to talk about sex at home you know should be a thing of the past we need as parents you Bring know to, yes to to talk to our children and that one should start from the infancy yeah. you know you have to you have to bond with your your, yes. your kids you know you have to be you know a good friend to your kids and no matter what these are your kids and you are the first point god gave the kids to you because he feels that you can you take care of them, yeah. you understand. And so if, you know, taking care of them is all about paying their school fees, yeah. where, you know, putting food on their table, and, and then putting clothes on them, then you are failing. Because you don't, have a, you don't have every moment with them. So the little time you have with them, you need to talk to your kids. You need to put some, you know, some kind of God, you know, fearing, you, uh, uh, mentality into into them and then at the same time be very practical about the issues that goes on when you do that definitely your kids can also exactly wow. so, Marco, that, that, that was great we, we spoke at length about this uh, yeah. uh, behind camera yeah. and i'm glad to give it the same treatment yes yeah. we will be touching briefly on um opening issues it's okay again it's like now the superstar in the newspaper but again, you can send your messages to us on WhatsApp uh, through 0240 and also on Facebook at Net2TVGH. We have Chairman Opening, the former chairman for Achiansi, and it's a great uh, Sorry, yeah, I think that bad. You got the moon, <laughs> Chairman Mafo. <laughs> chairman Mafo. <laughs> I'll give you a new title. Yes, yeah, you yeah. know it's amazing how no, I refuse to take that title. Yes. <laughs> Yesterday we spoke to one of the NDC communicators, and he's actually going for the organizer for John Kwabinya. Is Nitak, and he was saying we should rather be NPP should rather be careful. They don't raise more opinions in this current government, rather than giving this opinion or Dr. Opini more attention. But yes, the newspaper also carried that he takes like twenty-five thousand before contracts. I, I think this guy is it's like uh, adding more insult to injury. This guy is really not done facing his, his, his 
grows and people are beginning to add more. It looks also as if some of the people even from the NDC are happy. Because when you call them, the, the, the kind of the way they approach the issue is really unlike others we've seen in the past. I really uh, <laughs> you know when you're talking about Dr. Pune, I don't think we will have to politicize it. Mm. Because Dr. Pune has been in the news all this time. Way back before NPP took over. Mm -hmm. Even at the NDC he was being criticized mm -hmm. seriously by his own people. Mm -hmm. And people think that the, he's going overboard. Mm -hmm. Things that he was doing at Cocoa Bowl, mm -hmm. you know, was not the best. Mm -hmm. Even at the NDC they were criticizing him. So it is not out of place when MPP came and then there has been a lot of allegations and I am telling you Abede what is you know behind us what are yet to come you don't have any idea you know the man really messed up big time I'm telling you and you know yes somebody is talking about the fact that we should not be concentrating on opening yeah. but we should be thinking Worry about, about the more, yes. more openings in the system yeah look it is not the system that will create openings. It is those openings who will create their system. And fortunately for us, we will constantly remind our people that Martin Emidu is also there. He hasn't gone anywhere. And Martin Emidu is a symbolic, you know, icon. Not him as a person, but in the office. office. Because the office that Martin Amido is inheriting now is going to be an office that will stay for good. Because Martin Amido is just a mere mortar. You know, he can get sick, anything can happen to him. But the symbol of authority the for SP. the a good. <laughs> That's what they call it. Yes. That one is always going to be there. Yeah. And we, we are very thankful to the president given us that. Yes, Opuni has done what he has done. And I am telling you, he would never go scot-free. But not about him going scot-free. Yes. Now Ghanaians are asking, are we really going to get this money back? Yeah. Or is he just going to be jailed like the others, probably get pardoned, or probably this case goes nowhere, like even Woyome people still counting. Woyome's case, I think, started in about 2013, 2014, thereabouts, and it's, it's still not done yet. Yes. Yeah. You see, there are legal implications because the fact that he has been alleged, it doesn't mean that, you know, you just bulldoze him and take him somewhere. So the legal aspect will be dealt with. Public opinion will also, although public opinion doesn't shape the legal process, it also adds up to what, as a people, what we want. Don't forget that, you know, when the SP was being vetted he made certain revelations that is very important for us to dwell on that for him it is not all about jailing people taking people to yeah. someone no but if you are it is also about that. recovery yeah, the dead. You, you understand it is also about recovery because if you misapply our funds these are public funds the little ones that we need to use yes you you are misapplying them so we can come after you and ours is pure recovery. We will get our money back. And then we will take, you know, other steps. So if I if 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 if, if I, 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 I if I can talk about it, I will say that I will go with that assertion from the SP that he is going all out to do a proper recovery. And then he will chase the money to wherever it is and then bring the money back because if you are able to get some of the money if you are able to get some of the money if you decide you the corporate if you decide that you will want to mitigate mm. that one is also an issue that we can also consider the law permits that we can also consider that that okay fine yes i've stolen your money but the money i stole this is the money oh great this is the money Please take but, your money. So it doesn't mean that <clears throat> the moment you say take your money, you, you go, say, go. No, it's rather.
brings your sentence down. Yes. You know, the moment you plead guilty, when you are before you make a it judge, less stressful for exactly. them, and you kind of make it faster yes. for them. Yes, then the judge will say that the fact them. that you have pleaded guilty, and didn't you make vote, it a, a long yes. work for them. I also have other jobs yes. to do, so, at least so I, I will also consider nice you. Them. So if you are supposed to get 20 years, I will give you 19.9 years. Mm. <laughs> I'm also doing well. <laughs> so <laughs> yes. No, no, because you know, yes, no. The fact that you are pleading guilty doesn't yes. mean that you know you are you 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 are, you are not capable of that yes. offence. You, you only are. make the proceedings less exactly. stressful. Less stressful. You don't really yes. take all their time. Yes, crime. yes. And what do we want? We are not looking for you know political uh, uh, you know equ equalization. Taking Oponi to uh, uh, prison, if he's found guilty, doesn't bring anything to us. The only thing that brings to us is that people will learn lessons out of it. Okay. That one is important, but, but that is not the ultimate. I have a, I have a question that I'm going to put to you. Yeah. Let me announce our phone line. You join us on the line right now. The lines are activated: zero two four zero five five zero eight nine nine. Zero two four zero five five zero eight nine nine. And please, when you call, remember to mute your TV set or turn down the volume on your TV set so we can talk over the phone. Chamama, yeah. You know, a few months ago, I mean, we had all over the newspaper headlines, and some MP NDC top directors saying, "Oh, you say you jail people, and after now, no name, no person has been caught. What is happening? I have a phone. I have a caller on the line. Hello, good morning. Are you? Yes, sir. Hello, are you? Yes, sir. Hello. Yes. Good morning. Your name and where you're calling from? Joe from Kumasi. Is it a voice, man? Hello, morning, Abidi. Yes. Hey, hey Joe. Good morning, today. I'm here. I'm now here. Boko. Kumasi to say. I do. I'm here. 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 Yes,
prayer me to TV now and my volume in Kofam Kaka. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yeah, me to TV and into my TV in volume in Kofam. I read in Pacho, your friend Abu Karim, Kasafi Madina Zungu. Abu Karim, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I read in Pacho, I'm the most name in my farm. First of all, I'm son of a person. Your friend Abu Karim, Kasafi Madina Zungu, I'm son of a person. Mitia, my constituency chairman, Madina constituency chairman Eric. And then, uh, register your mobile phone. Hey, elections look of Susie and I'm a chairman for register man for the board. The Pacho Fra. Make sure so TV in the volume near down. And then you saw the free TV in the home car and you come Why? Hello, good morning. Hello? Yes, good morning. Good morning. Yes. Hello? Please turn down the volume on your TV set. Hello? Yes, kindly turn down the volume on your TV set. Good morning. Good morning. Over there, I told you. Okay, yeah, no. Me, you can be like a good question. Okay. Me, na TV is a naughty. I broke my center.
transparent. We can get it across. Exactly. So that the people who continue to hear and understand and know Versus. what is going on. I think some of these um, proceedings, if allowed, will be carried live on our TV. But yes. we won't get there yet. Yes. Let you know, me answer a few lines. Oh, and then we'll okay. Hello, good morning. 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 Hello,
Don't go for any Muslim community across board. Yet another do any MP before us. Yet I must say, I bet if you have free education, free maternity care, health insurance, national identification, I mean, one district, one factory, um, you know, food and jobs. Minina, Nanadu, they are two coins more Ghana for a benefit. But I can assure myself, MTTU department in Ghana, your NDC police officers are almost sabotaging Nanadu Abain, Nanadu Abain, especially Kolebu Police Command. There is a police officer there with his team intimidating drivers. Oko car or say much more pay change. That's what we are changing. So I am calling on IGP. If he's listening, he should check from Kolebu Police Command. There is police for Omoha, Omoha drivers have been there. 2020, Omoha to Nanado Abain. Yam so I am Madin Nanado Ba Pawano. Yam Penema of the MSA. Yam Mumu and Uncina Usha Madina constituency. Yam to Abayi Chairman Eric. Hello, good morning. Okay, I think we lost that caller. And let's just wrap up with that. Oh, Abedi, the place is not that okay. Mm. Ah, you you can you can do your own thing and make so much money. Yeah. You know, uh, and I say, Bia, me uh, say my appointment a uh, uh, hammy because I can do my own thing. Yeah. I have a job to do. Them also to exactly. I have a job to do. Looking at what the party exactly. So you. that you because so umbon so kute be be na osre so be mwawa. It's even it 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 it's good. It's good. People will want to to encourage that and they will help you. But I say koye se ye chwe abai kwa mwai mwai. Okay, thank you very much. That was Chema Mafu. He's a former chairman from um, Achansi and also is part of the NPP communication team. And he's a fit forwarder, a very, very experienced fit forwarder. And maybe I can tell to the fact he's done it for God knows how long. And he's, he's very articulated. You hear his submission and all the people are kind of giving him thumbs up. He's all over on Facebook and on WhatsApp. They're just thumbing him up like that. All too soon we have to end the show today. But hey, take care of yourself. My quote for today was that wait until you are not beneficial to people again and see how they treat you. That kind of tell you who you stand or where you stand in their lives. My name is Abedi Enim and thank you all the production crew members for viewing and being part of this show. We'll come your way same time next week. I'm out of here. Chairman.
Papa, Mama, Sisi, Trash, Travel and Talk.